Breaking news uh, just overnight. Israel now carrying out a narrow strike against Iran and is assessing its effectiveness and the damage caused. The action appears to be limited in an effort to try to avoid escalation. And we saw the, uh, the markets move downward. We're looking right now at the Dow off about 130 points. It had been worse before. Uh, NASDAQ now down about 108 points. Uh, S&P 500 off about 20 points. We'll see uh, how things modulate here. As I mentioned, the Dow fell uh, originally about 300 points down on word of the attack. Uh, but we are, as we said, modulating um, at least slightly. Treasury yields, let's take a look there. And we should also show you uh, crude in just a moment. Uh, oil prices, but ten -year, the 10-year noted 4.583, the two-year at 4.956. So we've had that expected bid this was for expected, safety. But, right. Um, but the, the question reaction. is, is this a perform? I mean, the hope is that this is a, I can't call any attack performative. But, but just to show just, right. that we're going to retaliate. Exactly. We're not going to stand for it. Um, we also saw the reaction in the commodities market, although like um, some of the other assets, the initial, the initial reaction was steep, and then we sort of paired some of those gains. Uh, take a look at the picture in crude WTI at 82.57 right now, down by about two tenths of a percent. The story really is in Brent, which had surged above 90 bucks a barrel, but then uh, we're back below that level right now. As for gold, 23.95, just uh, basically unchanged. And check out Bitcoin. It had the same sort of reaction, knee-jerk reaction, as we saw over the weekend with the initial strikes uh, from Iran. Uh, and we have Bitcoin now uh, higher still, 2.4%, 64,882 as we do await the halving, which is expected uh, over the weekend. Let's get a live report from the region. NBC's Raf Sanchez joins us now from Tel Aviv. Raf, good morning. Melissa, Andrew, good morning. For nearly a week, the world has been waiting to see how Israel would respond to that massive barrage of Iranian drones and missiles. This morning, we have an answer, and it does not appear, at least at this moment, that we are hurtling towards further escalation. Here's what we know. A source familiar with the situation tells me Israel carried out a, quote, limited strike inside of Iran in response to that attack. Israeli officials have spent the last couple of hours assessing the damage and effectiveness. The target appears to have been a military base near the city of Isfahan. That's a couple of hours south of Tehran. And it is not clear at this point whether the attack was carried out with fighter aircraft, with missiles, with drones. The U.S., did get at least a generalized heads up from the Israelis that this strike was coming, according to a source familiar with the situation. Uh, the U.S. making very clear it was not directly involved in this attack, and American forces across the Middle East on high alert in case Iranian retaliation would target any of those outposts across the region. But at this point, both Israel and Iran appear to be downplaying the attack this morning. The Iranian President Raisi, speaking in the last hour, made no mention of this whatsoever. Iranian state media has been stressing that the situation in Isfahan is calm, that people are going about their daily business. The Iranian military is saying the explosions that people heard in the early hours of this morning were Iranian air defense missiles going off. They are not at this point pointing the finger of blame at Israel. They are not promising retaliation. And here in Tel Aviv, Israeli officials on the record are neither claiming responsibility nor denying responsibility for this attack. This appears to be a measured diplomatic approach. They are not crowing. They are trying to give the Iranians space, at least, to not retaliate. That is what the U.S. and other countries have been hoping would happen. It's worth noting the Israeli military has not imposed any new restrictions on the civilian population here in Israel. That appears to be an indication that right now, at least, they are not bracing for major retaliation. And in the next hour or so, we are expecting to hear from Secretary of State Antony Blinken. He's speaking at a G7 meeting in Italy. And that will be the first time we are hearing officially from the Biden administration since this morning's attack. Guys.